Since the beginning of civilization, wherever you found humans, you'd find animals as well. We are inextricably linked to animals. When we have wanted companions, we have domesticated animals like dogs and cats. When we have needed transportation, horses and donkeys, elephants and camels, and even dogs have taken us wherever we wanted to go. When we have needed help in the fields, our cattle and oxen have pulled whatever we needed them to pull. To help us survive, animals have given us milk, eggs, and meat when we needed them. Whatever it is that draws us to animals, the connection is a deep one. Whenever the earliest humans depicted their gods, it was usually as an animal, or a creature part human, part animal. They saw animals when they looked to the skies, where they believed their gods lived. And they saw animals when they looked at other human beings. Today, thousands of years later, whenever we want to describe the essence of a person, we usually compare them to animals. The descriptions may change from culture to culture, but in English, when we think of an evil person, we think of a snake. Whoever is courageous gets named a lion. A vain person may be called a peacock. And a scared person be likened to a chicken. Over the years, we've developed quite a lot of ways to describe people using animals. We talk about people who are as wise as an owl. An industrious person is as busy as a bee. Whoever is kind is referred to as gentle as a lamb. When someone looks suspicious, we may say that they're sly as a fox. Blind as a bat is what we say about whoever has terrible eyesight. We know people who are hairy as a gorilla, or as hungry as a horse. Whenever we meet a really fun-loving child, we call them playful as a kitten. When we're frustrated with the pace someone is moving at, we'll call them as slow as a snail. And while we frequently see animal behavior in our fellow human beings, we see human behavior in animals almost constantly. Since the time of Aesop's fables in the 6th century BCE, we have been telling stories that attribute human qualities to animals. Today, human-like animals fill our storybooks, our cartoons, our movies, and our stores. Whatever would we do without the animal world?